Hey guys, and welcome back to another video for I'm building, continuing, now furnishing and coloring the McMansion. So we have, let, let's start with the, yeah, I guess the swatches. So I changed that to dark wood, or yeah, dark wood, kind of dark wood, brown texture. And I do use, it's not supposed to be brick, it's supposed to be more stony, but I just use that brick texture because it makes sense with the paneling. So yeah, do that all around. And I just continue the same beige paneling up to the roof. I do miss a few, quite a bit, so if I did mix some of them, uh, please don't worry. just fix it when, if you were to use my build on the gallery. So yeah, I'm just uh, checking different windows, I guess this is the only one that has a similar swatch to that one, so I use that one, I think that's the seasons window, yeah. So I. Just continue on with it. Though, I don't remember which floor that one was from. Oh well, I wouldn't know. But yeah, so I'm using the same swatches all around, adding the windows all around. And I'm just going to be continuously adding the windows. So if you guys are bored with it, which I actually do get bored of it eventually, you guys can actually skip ahead using my timestamp on the in my description. So yeah, I'm just adding also changing the colors of the doors indoors. Currently I'm just making them all brown. I might or might not change the, the doors colors. You'll have to see it till the end, I guess. So yeah, I changed all those indoors as well. I think I do miss a few doors when I'm doing it right now, so I do come back and change all of it. At least the swatches of the doors do change. So yeah, I think I do miss that uh, the wall, but yes, yeah, so I add these walls so that I can add these beams, which makes more sense than supporting. And yeah, and I'm just adding windows to these dormers. Yes, the dormers. I actually this is my second time doing the voice recording, and this time I remembered. Yeah, so it's dormers. So yeah, I'm adding those windows. I'm like just like trying to scoot over and trying to make it look nice. And yeah, so yeah, I'm just also kind of making sure all of the windows are in the same level. And yes, I don't think I changed that yet to brown. I don't know, I can't tell because of the shadow, but yeah, so here I'm trying to, I realize there's kind of a, a down, that goes down a level in the backyard. So like technically, I guess the, the front, the first floor on the front part is technically the second floor in the, in the back and so technically there's a balcony and a cool thing a cool I guess fun fact there's actually different terms for different things like there's like balcony I think veranda I don't know if it's an actual term but and then there's also patio and stuff so like uh, they all have different levels of stuff and like for example like th this one which I think is balcony has basically nothing on the bottom. It's not foundation. There's no foundation below to make it kind of rise up. But yeah, so there's, uh, I'll probably <laughs> write more of it on the description if you're interested in reading about them. It's just a fun fact. But yeah, so I'm adding these columns to support these balconies. And yeah, so I changed that to white to match the, the columns. And yeah, I'm just adding white fences to kind of have kind of safety rail. Obviously, it wouldn't make sense without those rails. It's a bit weird how there's no access to the the, the backyard from this, I guess, this back part. Like, you have to go to the basement in there, like, to actually access it. Which is a bit uh, weird, but I mean, it's what it is and how the build works. But yeah, so I do put these banister, I mean, these beams, I don't know if it's banister, so I'm just going to call them beams, and the kind of higher floor, because I think, or at that time, I'm like thinking, it should be higher, because I mean, it looks like that, but then uh, you'll see later, I change it, I put it back down, because it's not that height. I'll explain more when we get there. So yeah, I'm just moving around stuff, yeah, it's the sink no longer is centered there, yeah. So I'm adding... I don't know if I add beams on the basement part, but yeah, I tried to also copy that, didn't work. And yeah, this, uh, it was a weird platforming thing happening. 
And the reason was because I originally thought I had to press the down arrow, kind of like a platform down arrow, to put the floor down, only to realize it only put the floor, the, the basement even lower than it should be. So it doesn't make sense. I fixed that, but yeah. Also, there's that multiple column in one area kind of thing. So I just delete that, remove the one that wasn't supposed to be there. But at this moment, I don't realize that. I'm like, why is there a random platform? I'm not putting a platform there. It doesn't make sense. But yeah, this is where I realized. And yeah, you see, the lighting is a lot better with that raised back up. And yeah, I had to fix those columns because for some reason, they all got deleted. So yeah, I had to fix that. And yeah, I'm just adding more fences around the place. And then I, uh, yeah, I think, oh, wait, was it here when I realized it? Oh, no, I, I realized I want to put a, some beams that I did forgot to, and that broke my thing. So, and that, and this is where I think I realized. So I first have to change that because I realized, I realized here that I had a backyard image, so it's more accurate. So I actually do that. And then just multiple piece helps kind of design the roof more naturally, I guess. And yeah, so here I, fix it back and make it go back down. So basically that that uh, bump out that's like the kind of like a up higher roof for the the living space is technically just supposed to be a gable roof there instead of that big box. But I didn't do that because I feel like it's going to look weird inside especially with that stair thing situation. So I just do that gable roof that continues on and kind of a flat roof around where there's those flat areas that's kind of poking out kind of thing. So yeah, I mean, it's okay. I mean, it, I don't know if I could have fixed it. Uh, perhaps you can let me know down in the comments if you have an idea of how I can actually maybe make it look a bit more better. But yeah, so, and again, more windows. Yeah, and <laughs> I realized that fireplace doesn't make sense with that windows kind of blocking the view. So I'm, Use this small one. I do change it and actually move it, but not at this stage. I do change it later when I'm starting to furnish more. So, see, so yeah, I'm just adding window here and window upstairs. I actually apparently follow the window placement on this side. Oh, actually, no, this is that. This is what I'm talking about. This is the one I'm, where I'm like, I rather want it looking more like a house than this weird placement. Yeah, on instant living, but yeah, so and then I realized there's another door out to the backyard. Do I change the swatches? Please say I do. Oh, no, I don't. Okay, apparently I didn't do it at that time, but hopefully, but yeah, so and finally, fine, uh, hopefully, finishing up with these windows. That's oh, yeah, and I also realized there's a kind of a flat roof there, so I fixed that, just fixing up the roof, yeah, and putting the Another window. The bottom one is because there's a bathroom there, so it makes more sense. And yeah, so there's more roof and no more windows. Oh, actually, I do remember. Okay, so yeah, I yeah, and I do those panelings. I think I missed a few, and I do actually fiddle with that. Oh yes, yeah, so this one also. There's another uh, dormer. So and I just decide to just scoot that over so it looks nicer and it's more symmetric in terms of the roof. So I like it. And yeah, so there, I'm just fixing those roof pieces. And yeah, I'm just adding that because it looks weird there, but th adding this made it a lot better. So yeah, also this roof technique, this flat roof that kind of encompasses the dormer is supposed to go all the way up to the top, but it didn't work too well. It was kind of poking out. So I just put it a little bit less. I mean, it's almost similar. So yeah, there's, a, there's some windows there too. Yeah. And I think I do miss a few panels, but I guess if you guys want it, as I said, you can get it in my gallery and you can fix that. Yeah, and so I fixed that roof piece. I, I just moved it higher. It looks more nicer. And it, I think that's how it was in the image on the side. It actually does show. Uh, uh, actually, no, it's more a bit different, but I mean, it gives the vibes. And yeah, I changed that to that one. It looks more nicer, I think. I mean, I don't know. If and I do yeah, change the swatch back to how it was. So yeah, and I'm also adding the uh, chimney, which I struggled to kind of place it where I want it to be exact. 
Actually, uh, and yeah, I do actually change this chimney because I think I wanted it different than that. I don't know if I did, but yeah, so I do add brick that same color as that all around. <laughs> Which actually on this, on the house side, actually there is a brick continuing on the side, or like at least kind of like stone continuing to the side. And yeah, I'm just also, hopefully I do that swatch on the bottom downstairs. Oh, oh. Yeah, and I realize there's kind of like not double door or like two doors, but it's just one door there and just with a lot of windows. And yeah, just the bricks go there. And just a few more windows. And yeah, I actually kind of overlap those big ones because apparently these ones don't have three wide, so I mean three panel wide, so I just make my make sure. It's a bit glitchy, but I mean from afar it looks okay. So yeah, and I'm now coming in here, starting to light this place up, trying to furnish this place. I do use this, and I, I'm like, I look back at the image. There's actually multiple different images for this kitchen. There's like, apparently, I don't know why. So like, in the, at least in my opinion, the one that I'm supposed to use, it had a more of a modern white thing. And so yeah, but before that, I first just tried to find a glass counter, a table. This was the closest one I've got. I'll probably have the image showing up, which reference I used. See, so yeah, I'm just trying to find. It's more comfier looking than this one, but I mean, it works. And yeah, so I'm adding this one. This actually looks so similar to that one, and actually has similar ones that I, I, I don't know if I keep that. But yeah, so I add those lights on either end looks really nice it kind of looks like that in the image so and yeah i don't like that one I, it feels more like marbly on top so yeah that looks more like it so i changed those uh, i should have made i don't know if i should have made the sink darker but it's okay but yes yeah, so i just swap all those and i actually made those smaller ones go on top so it makes it more like because it's actually bigger on the top yes yeah, so i used like that uh, yeah it's Right now it's a bit weird. I do. I don't know if I change that. Like, so yeah, I I, I don't change. I don't take that tall one. I think yeah, I remove that so it makes it like the original build. And I don't know if I change if I fix. Uh, I'm actually leave. Okay, so I make that bigger window so it looks more nicer. Oh yeah, so I don't fix it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I also changed the bathroom the master ensuite. And I try using this three wide panel. Obviously, when I go to and and, and I remove none of those windows because it was too much. But yeah, so yeah, it looks similar to that one. So I just use that. And I, yeah, I'm trying to moving around, making more sense. Also, choosing the wallpaper because I can see it. Another image probably will come showing the image of this bathroom. There's actually two different images I had to use. There's actually two images. Apparently, there's. A, like most of the house didn't have an image, but apparently this bathroom had to have two images just to do. Yeah, so there's like this kind of back space, and a, I, I do put a shower. In my opinion, if you are if you do have university, I actually know it for a fact, but that should be replaced with the university shower because, I mean, obviously that's supposed to be like a shower booth, like the whole thing, not just that small tiny box, but yeah. If you guys do have it, I don't personally, but if you do, yeah. And yeah, this is where I realized the window, I mean, the the mirrors are kind of bumping out. So I use, I do change all of them into that single panel one, which is actually more better than the other one. Because it's more, like, it's like, like all, it looks like it's, like it's one Why? Yeah, so I'm just, I come back and forth. <laughs> yeah, so I'm like, oh wait, yeah, oh yeah, I'm just like, Oh wait, do I actually change it to this one? Hmm. Oh no, no, I don't. I I tried it. It didn't. I think I choose to go back to my original one because technically I think it did look sim more similar. Actually, do I actually do I no? Do I actually use that one? That is actually a very, that's a question to ask because I didn't actually. I don't think I changed any, the other bathroom to have the same counters uh, yeah so there's actually a kind of like a counter space or like kind of a table on the back also they had this kind of chandelier more like that with a lot of lights but I mean I do remove that bigger ones and just make this bigger or I just and yeah, I tried making one bigger and smaller 
I just kept that small one. So yeah, and so I do, oh yeah, I removed, apparently, I don't know when that shower disappeared too, but, so I, I thought I was going to use the counters, but I said I'm going to use platforms. So, uh, just in a sec, oh wait, I don't know, yeah, so I just moved the wall. So you, technically you can't access this supposed top part, but it aesthetically looked nice, so I just, yeah, and there's like half walls that just go across that, which, uh, that obviously makes it more inaccessible, but yeah, so I put the tape, um, the towel back there in the image it was there. So yeah, there's a shower that's weirdly just like blocking the other side. But again, if you have university, go ahead and use it. So yeah, I also realized I had to swap those counters. So yep, I do that. And, and then I also come here because obviously, well, on the, yeah, so I think I... Uh, do I? No, I, I don't know. Oh yeah, and I moved these because it looked too close. And I do try to look for the one that looks like in the image, but that one's the closest, I guess, modern looking one. That So I just use it. And I also swap that to that, which looks more nicer in my opinion. And yeah, I moved those counters out of there and I put two uh, fridges. Even though technically they have one big fridge, I guess, in there, but whatever. There's two fridges. It's a bit clippy, but it's okay. It looks nice. So, I mean, I couldn't get... I didn't know what was exactly in the back. I just decided to make my own nice-looking place, so I just used that um, Parenthood tiles. I always use that. It's so lovely. Obviously, in the other one, I couldn't because it doesn't fit the lot. But yeah. And I used the, pet, the, the cats and dogs wood, which I really love. I think it looks really nice. I think. So yeah, I just color them all there. I, I those do I I, I think actually I, I make the fence there because it's opened there. So either way I guess it makes more sense they can access it from there. I mean they can actually see the front of the Great Hall rather than it's being blocked. But yeah. So yeah I'm just fixing the roof because it I realized it clips into there. Yeah you can see there's so I mean there's still few parts that clips but I mean that's fine. And yeah, so I'm just adding those those beams so that it makes it look like it's more supporting that way. And I yeah, changed that to a white swatch. And I think maybe it's around. Oh yeah, no, I changed it that because it's a kind of closet. Oh no, it's a bathroom. So I don't know if I can keep that. But yeah, so it's a bathroom. Oh no, yeah, I, yeah, I put that back because I like that's a bathroom. I don't want double doors there. It's technically there is another closet there. But there's no space for that, and you don't really need that in Sims. So yeah, yeah, as I said before, all these indoor ones will turn white. The outdoor ones will remain dark brown, which I mean, honestly, I like it. And that rug was like perfectly fitting in that space. So I put that. I don't know if I like, but then the problem, I think I cut changing because the thing is, I feel like the wood underneath that sofa and the table was like similar in vibes. But different in color and yeah again here that weird wood swatch going in coming in I cu I'll, I'll come back to the fix I think but for now I'll just add the light fixture that look yeah so that's the one that kind of hangs low enough just enough so that it kind of like I guess sort of lights it but I, I do put another kind of smaller light I think later because it's so dark or I don't know how I light it but yes yeah, so I use those which look I mean they were similar in swatch I don't know actually no I used that one which that yeah the one with the shelf which was similar in swatch but as again I can't really seem to find the perfect swatch but I mean it's close enough and I really love it I really I'm really loving this like if I were to have a mansion like this I mean I don't want to I don't actually want to live in a mansion but, but if I were to see one I really love that seeing area <laughs> but yeah so this is the master bedroom doesn't have any design, doesn't actually have a floor plan for this, so I just like, again, most of this doesn't have a floor plan, so I just like, think of it, and just like, come up with it in my imagination, and just like, put stuff, so yeah, I love that bed, so I put that, and yeah, originally there was going to be a dresser there, I think that dresser moves, so yeah, I put that seating, which looked nice in front of there, because it's big space, so I, I mean, I can, I might as well use it. And the rug does move, and there's going to be two different size rugs 
the same thing, but it'll be different. But yeah, so uh, we won't. Yeah, and uh, sorry about the lighting. I apparently forgot to. I should have probably put actual lighting in all as well. But yeah, so that put that plant. That plant I think moves. And I always love that kind. Of, I I don't know. If it's a tip kind of. I guess you could kind of size it down with those square brackets and put it kind of alt place it, and it looks kind of like a one piece art. But yeah, so I'm. Just, uh, yeah, I'm just making sure this panel, this color is same, and yeah, it is, so I use this one, which looks nice. So I use that as thin bookcases, which looks nice too. I mean, maybe these parents love reading. And maybe they're author, because I actually do put this kind of book on there, so I try to look for it. Yeah, there, kind of like open book. It looks like there's some writings on it, so maybe I'm like thinking this is like a, a one of the parents is a writer, and they have, and they have these books so that they can reference stuff. But yeah, so changing there, all the bathroom stuff same, with the tile same, and in this video also I didn't, I think I forgot to put the swatches for some of the parts, so you might have to put that in. I don't actually update it in the gallery, but yeah, so I continue that kind of tile back to that utility room, which looks nice, and also I I do this platform where I don't obviously won't have anything in there anyway. So. And there, I'm just like uh, now furnishing the kids' room, which is actually going to be symmetrical. So I, I wanted to have that, so the big bed, I wanted to have the same plan, but obviously that doesn't exist. So I use this other one that I really like. So I use one in pink and one in blue, and it symbolized one boy's room and one girl's room. Yeah, but then obviously the furnishing will be very similar, and I love that fact that it was same wood swatch for once with both, both sides. I actually love that. So yeah, I actually use these kind of pie dresser. I, I'm hoping you can actually use it. So yeah, I, 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 I do fix it. It's Right now it's pink, but it's like really dark. I kind of put, poke it out a bit further, and it really looks like a kind of like a walk-in dresser kind of, or maybe like a it's a big closet kind of thing back there. So yeah, I put a kind of a more of castles on either end, so like more fitting. So yeah, one side likes more like a dra dinosaur and the other, or dragon, I guess I meant, and the other one likes more like bunnies. And yeah, they're same, again, swatches based on their room. And I used that cloud, again, similar, like kind of blue and pink swatch, and I really loved it, in my opinion. I think it's the same wallpaper on both rooms, just different swatches again. And I should have bought maybe one side is like Easter apparently, but yeah. So I'm also refurnished that bedroom and uh, the Jack and Jill bathroom, yeah. And yeah, so there, as you said, I put that fur fireplace on both sides because apparently it's kind of like a both side thing. But yeah, so I moved that other one. So I just add the kind of small table, I guess. That I mean, on the floor plan, this act, this apparently their house wasn't furnished, but their in laws were looked as if it was furnished, so like, I used at least the flower plant in that, at least mostly. I do change a little bit, I think, but yeah, mostly it looks nice, so they have that. So I used the, yeah, I, used, I like, I love that dresser, I'm like, I mean, why didn't I use that? So like, I, I changed both of them, so I used the dresser. So yeah, I do put that light, which I should have probably at least put nicer, but yeah, I don't actually furnish the garage, but if I had to play in this house, I think I could maybe make that into kind of like a store, like an off-site store from the mansion, I guess. If you want to actually play Sims, actual Sims. So yeah, there I'm just doing the same thing with the shower. Again, if you have university, I recommend putting university shower or like the one that had only attaches to the wall without the box in there because it makes more sense there. So yeah, and I'm just, oh yeah, now I'm fixing the count. Can I fix it? Hopefully yes. But yes. Okay, so oh yeah, I realized there's uh yeah, I fixed those doors, I guess. I don't know what I did there. <laughs> I was like missing. But yes, yeah, so I fixed it fine. Yeah, there. Uh yeah, and I do do that and I do try yeah, I moved that and I just moved the door side. Yeah. And the same tile, which looks nice in that corner bit too. Or like the other wall. So yeah, I put the counters. Again, I I at least I think I fixed it here. Yeah, I do use alt placing, so it looks a little bit better. And I, I guess I could have put that upper cabinet one in here too if I wanted to. And I, in the actual floor plane, they don't have this, but I decided to add this island rather than a table 
which looks nice. I mean, there's two seating. Maybe the, just the parents were sit there, obviously. And there's obviously a lounge area for the, uh, the, the, the in-laws to kind of rest. And obviously a balcony where they can view. I guess I could have actually also put a chess table at the, on their balcony, but apparently I didn't. Well, I'll probably do that after this, when I, on, on, off the video. But yeah, so I'm just like finalizing this place also with the bookcases. I put that like center, and like that art piece looks perfect there. And why I don't remember if I put a TV in their room. I probably don't. But yeah, I put those similar style art pieces there. Just like make it nicer. Yep. So and yeah, I love those like kind of square lights, I guess. I don't know what to call it, but it fit perfectly with kind of like as a kind of a hallway light. So I put it like that. And I put kind of wood pan I think the same wood, but just white swatch on the outside it made more sense and it looked nice. And I put like kind of stony like a brick bottom and yeah I fixed that here finally when I'm now coloring it and yeah oh I actually do the pool right now apparently okay so yeah add pool it actually does exist in the build and I think I mean it's it's kind of hard to see uh, I might cut up the image if I need to of the backyard yeah so I tried to remove the flooring but as you can tell it's like brown dirt no and you can't even color it so no thank you i'm going to have that so yeah i'm just i wanted to have centered but it didn't work so i it's like that and there's so technically there is like these plants here i don't know how they actually place it i just made it like that but it actually does, there is a bit of planter there and yeah but i do extend that because i realize you can actually see the garage at least the roof part from the back. I mean, just also, yeah, and so that's bigger there. Needlessly bigger, as I say, yeah. Yeah, so also there's, I, I mean, there, yeah, there's a bit of, I think there's a bit of lights there, so I just, and also, yeah, there's kind of a bump out there, which technically could have been bigger, and it would have made, actually, I wonder, I mean, instead of those, I mean, I know push those bushes in, it looks nice, but I mean, if you want, I could think it'd be better if you put the stairs back there and maybe that's the beach area rather than that kind of bump out and you, you'll see that other stair that I put by, I'm like thinking that could have been the better stair area to the beach. But yeah, so I'm just like a bit of landscaping. I barely do any landscaping in this, which I mean, to be honest, there should have been more. And I mean, there was a bit more in the actual build. I'm like, oh, well, I'm, I'm too lazy. And yeah, so I'm just like adding more of those. Different flowers, a bit more grass, then that's all I do. See, so yeah, I add, like, also, I, I add these lights to make it look nice at night. And it does look nice. And I do kind of space them evenly. Lovely. I do, do I, I think I do another strip in the middle, or do I not? Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I do there. So I do the same there. But it looks so, like, I thought I would do lights because it's kind of dark, but I don't. But yeah, uh, it's very dull. I mean, I do add a few more things. I don't know if I... I probably showed it in my actual video, but... I, yeah, and then it's supposed to be a diagonal uh, stairs, but obviously that doesn't work in Sims. So I kind of... In the nods to it, I make it kind of like a zigzag upwards. Which, I mean, if you guys want to... And if you want, if you don't like it, go ahead and you, you can change it if you like, and yeah. And uh, yeah, so like this, uh, yes, yeah, so there's a bit weird, so I just do that. And I do have railings on these at least, to make it safe. But again, I do not actually furnish anything in the garage. I'm thinking that could be a store. If I'm ever, if I'm ever actually, actually going to use this build, and that window is weird, but anyway. Yeah, and there's my open area. So yeah, that light, well, after I kind of removed that, also the roof is weird, so I do fix that. But anyway, so yeah, that's where I realized the roof is what is clipping into it. So yeah, I fixed that. But yeah, if I were to actually play in this house, I'm thinking probably like a, I'm actually going to put a store there to sell stuff. Probably one of my sims is going to make a, uh, a marketer or like, I mean, not marketer, like a businessman or businesswoman, depending on sender. But yeah. Also, I fixed that, so I actually used two pieces, and one of them will have the indoor light color, so it makes more sense. 
So yeah, and I add that corner, though I, uh, I, yeah, I still use the same one, but it looks nice. It looks as if it's meant to be there. I don't know if I keep that one, but it looks nice. And yeah, so I add bookcase there. And also the same rug everywhere. And also leaves a small one. It looks weird, but I mean, it looks nice just filling the place. And more bookcases because this is an office space. Yeah. And that one is a storage, and the other one, which I'm, which is a full bath, which has a bathtub in it, which, to be honest, I don't know. It's like a house. It's like a mansion. But why would you have a bathtub beside your office? I mean, I guess if you want, you're like working and you want to right away go to bath, it makes sense. I mean, to be honest, for me personally, it doesn't really make sense. But yeah, I use that kind of circular light, but except for there because it's too much everywhere. So I just use that one. So it's like a mixture of that, those circular and like kind of that pendant and uh, just like that sort of that globy looking and then one just flat circle one. So yeah, the different lights everywhere. So there's a pantry there, so uh, I think I do it here. Yeah, so I use those tall ones, which looks really lovely. And and I, yeah, I changed that. And I actually use shelves and also put the like, countertop on the bottom. So it's actually functional on the bottom too. You can actually place stuff. And there's also those kind of shelves so you can actually place stuff. Obviously, I don't think I actually place anything, any objects on it. But I mean, if you guys wanted to decorate more, you can always kind of add like maybe jars and maybe cups or like whatever like things that go with go in a pantry. So yeah, I swapped that. So there's like the paintings. So there's a TV. Makes sense because the kids have TV. The parents should also have TV. So yeah, so now there and also I decided to add a seating area, made that rug a bit smaller. And also another one that just and I decided to make it kind of like a, a gradually <laughs> overlapping to make it look like a one long rug. Which I it's okay, I think I like it. And yeah, so I made a small seating area for the parents, maybe like they invite their friends over and they just have this kind of thing. I don't know. I don't know if that's the real thing, but anyway. So there's also this is a walk-in closet. I, I mean, I change it and I just block off that backside. Uh, yeah, and there goes me playing that platform where I'm going to have it inaccessible. There's technically access there, but I mean, whatever. So yeah, so here now I'm just I, I use this. I think I use the same brick from the back to front. I don't know, but yes, yeah, so I'm adding just a few more plants here just to make it more nicer. The ones, the trees that work. And yeah, so as, you, as I said, that's where the stairs are. But I think it'd be better if I put the stairs where those bushes in the back. But yes, yeah, so I'm adding a bit more greenery. Looks much nicer. Yeah, and I don't know if I put the, with the gallery, I put this one. But in, in my, I don't know if I showed it. I think I showed it on my actual video. I decide this is so weirdly shaped. Yeah, so I'm like making it weird right now. And... I don't know, it, I didn't like it. It was like so jagged. Like, I mean, I like that texture one and it, it fit the vibe because it's su supposed garage, like kind of like a driveway. And it, it kind of did blend with that kind of pavement on the edge of that, uh, the, the, the road. But like, it, it, I didn't like it. So yeah, I, I do that. Kind of like a S shaped, I think. I, I make it more smooth. I, I, I like how I did well. Yeah, and they have that kind of a tree there, so I just put it there. I don't know if it matches the vine in general, but... And yeah, more bushes they had there, so I just had more... Like, I just do random landscaping here and there. And I do the train painting because why not? I'm not really good with it. It looks true, really bad, so I just like also use those bushes to kind of hide it. So yeah. And just add a few more trees. I do remove those for a screenshot, and I don't know if I have them in my final video clip. But yeah, so here we are, finally finished build, I guess. Yeah, and oh, I didn't actually show in the video where. I, but yeah, so that's the kind of. You can actually, if you want, you can expand this area. But I just close that off to follow the floor plan of the actual build. So yeah, that's the. Oh, sorry. Uh, so this is a basement, not finished except for those two where it's kind of like you have to walk the pool, you come in here. But I'm thinking maybe you could put like a movie area or like a gym in the basement. Or like the first floor from the back if you want to call it like that. So yeah, I add 
uh, those umbrellas and also uh, that roof piece, which looks nice, I think. I could have probably put a seating in the bottom and maybe the grill could have gone there, but I put it near the entrance, apparently. But yeah, so there's the stairs that goes to the beach. Yeah, so same. But as I said, I think I would put it on that side. But yeah, as you can see, I changed that to the terrain paint. But I don't know if I have plowed in the gallery. It looks better, but not that better. It looks better. I mean, I like it. At least a little bit better than that. It's better than that concrete tile pieces, which look all jagged up and not like nice. So yeah. And that's the house. And so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, actually, never mind. Apparently, I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm, well, no, but, but don't forget to like and subscribe. But yeah, so apparently, I've... <laughs> this is not my actual build showing. So yeah, that has a nice view around. And... Yeah, so I... I already showed here, yeah. I go down. So that's the entrance, which has the same kind of the coat rack thing, which I liked. Into the entry, there's a powder room. Like really, and there's a lovely living space. Love that, really. And there, I could have put a desk there, maybe. And yeah, that's a dining room. Very cold. Probably could do some with some more plants there. Yep, and the... Oh yeah, I and there's... A, yeah, that ladder. I'm gonna. Yeah, I think I'm gonna fix that now because. Uh, yeah. So that's not really good. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna probably like. I want to do like kind of like open bottom. Yeah. So like. Oh, sorry for the lag. I don't know why. Uh, it's the when I'm recording. It's like that. So yeah, I want to remove. Oh no, it's not working. So I have to put the fence in front of that stair. In there? Nope. It's going to delete my stairs, so I can't have that happening. Uh, maybe just there. I'm, I, uh, I don't know how to do this. Can I do this, actually? Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to maybe try putting something underneath. Maybe it'll work. Yeah, just a sec. Okay, I'm just trying to see how... Yeah, so I want that open. Like, uh, it would look nice. Nope, that will break the stairs, so that I wouldn't want that. Maybe like that? Alright, uh, this is not working. Um, uh, uh, moving... No, uh, maybe uh, I'm thinking if I move it. No, it's, I don't think it'll work. I mean... Uh, also, it's... I guess, well, yep, that's working. Well, oh, just a sec. Yep, that worked. Oh, uh, nope, nope, not nope, move the fence. Oops, sorry. Uh, yeah. The, I have to click that. So it, it looks okay. So the, oh, that's weird. Why is there grass there? So, okay, this is not happening. I'm going to undo all this. I was hoping there'll be like kind of like a. Oh, I guess because technically that's the ground floor. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> I wish I had more open to the basement. It would have been nice looking. And also, if I were to do that, I probably would put wall in the back but I'm too lazy to get that stairs with the one with the wall so I'm just going to put that fence on either end looks nice I mean yeah I'm, it's fine yeah that works and oh there's yeah there's just like uh, kind of a closet which uh, apparently I forgot to color it so I'm just going to color that bathroom and I think uh, I forgot to paint some more areas. Oh well, it's what it is. Hopefully you guys can fix that. Yeah, so there's a seating area, there's a desk, as I said, maybe an author or a parent. So yeah, there's the mirror. I, I mean, it would have been better if I put a sink there, but it's okay. Yeah, the shower, as I said, prefer it would be actually a university one, but I mean, I don't have it, so yeah. And yeah, there's a walk-in closet. And it literally says on the blueprint, like, his and her. So I guess one side is, like, the the dad side, and one side is the mom side of the walk-in closet, I guess. And yeah, so now that's the dining room, as I said, kind of cold. And yep, there's the kitchen, which is a bit more full, but I still kind of empty feeling. And then the utility room, again, kind of empty. There's still laundry stuff, but 
I feel like maybe I should put more clutter to make it more look like the lived in. And yeah, so there's like the kids room, one for the boy and one for the girl. And obviously the Jack and Jill bathroom there. So yeah, and they have the, you see, they have like a TV and it, it literally says on the build, like a built in TV. So like, it wouldn't have made sense if there was a TV. And that's just empty garage. Again, probably would have put something like maybe a store if I had to get to work, I think, or whatever. But yeah, so I had more shelves. Oh, actually, one side disappeared, I think. I don't know. So yeah, and that's the kind of the in-laws place. Again, with a lot of laundry. Oh, actually, there was laundry on either side, and I think I just... Yeah, so I'm... Oh, whatever. I'm... Yeah, so that's like the kitchen. I, I love this. Oh, I actually don't fit, change the stove. Yeah, so I'm... No, I don't like that there, so I'm going Oh, no, not that. Nope, I don't want, want them to go there. See, I'm just... Oh, no, it's not... No, so I, whatever. I'm just going to do, uh, sell them <laughs> for one simoleon ditch, apparently. But yeah, so that's good. So yeah, that's that. And let's go back and let's go upstairs. Kind of open area, which lovely. I guess I should have put the columns white, too. Oh, well, well. But yeah, so there's kind of seating area. And there's obviously the office. Apparently, <laughs> cut the video a bit too early. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and see you guys in the next video.